two-time Grammy winner Melanie Fiona remembers when record execs were just as keen to plug her sexuality as much as her music. There's a certain um, box you have to fit in, a type, um, not be too much of this, but don't be too little of that. I don't wanna be without you. The Canadian singer says for pop stars, the days of a woman having to conform to a label's expectations are diminishing, thanks to artists like... So you're a tough guy, like you really rough guy. 18-year-old Billie Eilish. She's being hailed by many as the voice of her generation, as much for refusing to comply with a certain look as for her music. She's nominated for six Grammys. I'm the bad guy. Lizzo leads this year's nominations with eight. She says she's stepping away from Twitter after sustained attacks, much of which is about her body, like this viral clip from fitness enthusiast Jillian Michaels. It isn't going to be awesome if she gets diabetes. But Lizzo has also developed a massive fan base, promoting body positivity and self-love. At this glitzy pre-Grammy event, Beyonce's publicist and former music executive says Lizzo and stars like her aren't letting others speak for them. And they're like, okay, you may or may not give me a cover. You may or may not write about me. Here's my Instagram. Here's an exclusive track. Here's what I want to say. So there's so much power in that. And it's inspiring emerging talent. I wish I could hurt you bad. Canadian Jesse Reyes is nominated for her first Grammy this year for Best Urban Contemporary Album. I still deal with people that are trying to tell me what to wear. The Toronto-born musician isn't letting anyone tell her who she should be and credits Lizzo, Eilish and others for helping break the mold. I think that that sets a really dope example for younger women. Girl, tie your hair up if you want to be stars. So she's adding her voice to that chorus so more people will hear the call for change. Zuleika Nathu, CBC News, Los Angeles.